Hey, welcome or welcome back. I am so excited to share with you a friend mail that I got this past week from Chris. From I'm sure you all know Chris, Dazzling Sense with Chris here on YouTube. She's just one of the best. Her and I, you know, have been connected for quite some months now. We're in a group chat with a bunch of us other waxies and she <laughs> is just one of the best. She never fails to make me laugh. She is just one of the most genuine down to earth people that you will meet and you never know what's going to come out of her mouth and I absolutely love that about her. I will definitely link her down below if you're not familiar with Chris, definitely check her out. You are guaranteed to laugh at least a couple of times throughout her video. She is just hilarious. She's just so much fun. And I am just so touched that she has thought of me and put together oops, put together a package for me and sent me some things. So she did have it packaged very nicely. But of course, I was so excited when I came home that I opened this right away and texted her and Chris again thank you so much this honestly made my day to come home from work and see this and just know that when you smell certain scents or something it it reminds you of me and you put it aside and thought to send it to me so thank you so much this really was touching to me and I'm so excited for everything that's in here so without any further rambling we will just continue on so there are quite a bit of Scentsy bars in here from the January Bring Back My Bar that ended recently. And I know I sound like a broken record. I've said this in so many of my videos, but I am one of the only ones that truly enjoyed a majority of the bars. Many people did not enjoy a majority of the bars, especially the ones that I tended to really enjoy. Most people did not. So I've been gathering quite the collection through myself stocking up. And then I have been so grateful to have people send me the bars that they didn't like. So we will just jump into those first. The first one here is Falling Leaves. This is Cinnamon Clove and Patchouli. This, I recently went over this in my Scentsy Club, so I'm not going to spend too much time describing the scents, but to me, this is your typical, you know, craft store type of potpourri fall scent, but I love the depth of the patchouli that's in here. It just adds like a different earthy element to this scent. So this is super strong when I warmed it. I really enjoy it. I think the depth of the patchouli that's in here really makes it more cozy. So I really enjoy this one. Next is cinnamon. So this is spicy cinnamon and a bright, like bright crisp peppermint. This is just so unique to me. I've never had anything with cinnamon and peppermint together. So this is one I quite enjoy. And now that I've heard people say how it reminds them of big red gum, I definitely can get that, but it doesn't like steer me away from liking it. I am just such a peppermint lover and then this past fall and winter season I've really come around to liking cinnamon as well so I I enjoy this bar again like I said in my club haul it's not something that I'm going to keep in my club forever it's kind of a scent that I want to get a stash of like six or seven bars and then I'll probably take it out because it's really not something I'm going to reach for all the time but I really do like it. If you haven't been able to tell from watching me I tend to really like scents that are unique, <laughs> dark, earthy, you know, unique scents that I feel like a lot of people don't normally gravitate towards, but it is what it is. The next one is Red Cedar and Sage. This just smells like a sexy men's aftershave, but you get the real scent of a crisp tree. Like, oh, it's just so outdoorsy but yet crisp and clean to me it's so strong too this is a powerhouse performer I really like this one this is just if you like masculine scents but you also like fresh and outdoorsy scents this is exactly up your alley so beautiful red cedar and sage next is caramel sugar cone beautiful sweet thick caramel type scent to me this is so sweet in the caramel aspect that it also 
kind of leans perfumey to me, like a perfumey sugar with caramel, but this is beautiful. You also get a little bit of the waffle cone in the malt. This is a really good performer for me. So this is when I have my club and it'll definitely stick around for quite some time. Uh, Chris, thank you so much. I'm going to keep saying thank you because this is just like amazing. <laughs> and I'm glad I could take things off your hands that you didn't enjoy. Oh my God. I have been obsessed with this bar the last month or so. This is Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. I love grape flavored things like candy. I really loved grape soda as a kid, but I feel like I burnt myself out on it. But I never thought I would enjoy it in wax. But when I got this, first of all, there's not even grape in this scent note of the scent. It's orange and I don't I can't even remember what else is in here. I it's like art I believe it's orange and raspberry. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's definitely not grape in the scent notes of this, but I get straight up like grape soda. Oh, I just love it so much. Like grape candy, grape soda. I've been warming this in my bedroom the last couple of days. I just really like it. It's just nostalgic. It reminds me of being a kid and just I would always have my dad get grape soda from the pizza shop when he would pick up pizza for dinner. I just really like it. This is in my club. I went over this in my club haul, but now that the price is raised on the license bars, I'm not sure how long I will keep this in my club, but I definitely want to stock up on it. So thank you so much. And I think there's a couple more. Yes. Okay. Twilight. Not a floral fan, but this is just such a beautiful salty sea air and floral fragrance. Powerhouse performer. It just, just makes me happy. Like this is a happy scent to me. It's so funny because I, like I said, really nobody enjoyed this bar, but I just smell this and it's just so crisp and clean and happy. And then you get the little bit of like powderiness from the, I believe it's rose. Oh no, it said romantic florals, I believe in the scent description. I get more of like a powdery rose, which typically I'm not a rose fan but the salty sea air in this blend is so good I just I'm obsessed with this this is never coming out of my club it is a powerhouse performer like one bar could last you four melts because you really only need two cubes and it will go for three days no joke so I don't care if I wind up with a stash of a hundred bars of this I will never get rid of this because I don't see this ever coming back not many people liked it this wasn't even one that was voted back it was one that was one of Dan Orchard's picks so this is staying in my club forever. And then the last one is Simply Patchouli. <laughs> I believe when Chris smelt this, she said it like burned her nose hairs. Like it, this scent is very strong, very strong. And it has a sharpness to it from the patchouli, but it also has an earthiness with like dirt and damp earth. It's definitely sharp. The patchouli in here is not smooth. It's It punches you in the face, but I, I like it. I like damp, dark, earthy scents. I actually like mixing this with just a plain vanilla. For example, I had L3's, a sample of L3's whole vanilla beans. So I did that in one warmer and then the Simply Patchouli in a warmer next to it. And it just really creamed it out and made it so much better. So I do have a good stash of that vanilla. Uh, scent so I plan on melting this in combination I honestly might try blending this with other things as well maybe like a rain scent just to see what I could blend it with because I don't know how often I would melt this on its own but I do enjoy it blended with other things and then lastly she threw in two tubs from Teddy Bees Chris I cannot even believe you parted with whole tubs from Teddy Bees thank you so much the first one here is Shadowlands this is earthy notes of dried pompous grass, powdery tonka bean, soft musk, and hints of white currant. And if I remember correctly, when Chris smelled this, she was saying how she's not really a fan of white currant and that's what she picked up the most in here. I definitely get the white currant, but I'm not somebody who's turned off by that scent. So it's definitely not something that is in the forefront for me. I definitely pick it up, but I mainly get tonka and a dry, earthy type fragrance, which I would attribute to the pompous grass. If I had to describe this as a scent category, I would say this is, to my nose, it's like a, a dry, clean, spa-like scent. 
like I smell this and I think of relaxing, relaxation, de-stressing. It's very soothing to me. I really like this. The last pre-order that this was in, which I want to say was the, was it September pre-order? Yes, it was the September pre-order this past September. I got, I believe, two tubs of this. So now I have a third or maybe even a fourth. I can't even remember. But I know I intentionally stocked up on this scent because I feel like it's very unique and not many people were posting that in the group so I'm not really sure when this will be back so Chris thank you so much for contributing to my stash of this scent I really enjoy it if you have Shadowlands and haven't melted it yet definitely try it it is so gorgeous a little bit of the scent will go a long way I took a little sliver of one of my tubs and put it in my bedroom and it lasted close to four days like it was a powerhouse and definitely has longevity so I really love it I'm so happy to have more of this. Thank you so much. And then the last item I have in here is Spooky Encounters from Teddy Bees. This is sandalwood, smoked oud, spiced cherry, black raspberries, hint of patchouli, and blackberry cotton candy. This was also in the September pre-order, the one the September that just passed. So this is actually one that I didn't get in my pre-order or in the ready to ship, and I kept hearing people talk about it and I, after the fact I was like why did I not grab at least a souffle of this scent this is so just sounds so unique it sounds pretty I just I don't know I guess at the time it just didn't really sound appealing to me but then of course hearing everybody talk about it and post about it I was like why did I not grab at least a souffle if you're familiar with Teddy B's and the owner Tiffany from Teddy B's in my opinion she can take such a variety of scent notes and put them in a blend and it just they just work so when I first read this I was kind of like iffy about the spice cherry because I'm typically not the biggest cherry fan but I really like sandalwood I love smoked oud and patchouli cotton candy I enjoy so I just I don't know why I didn't get this in the first place so we'll see here this is pretty. This comes off as sweet and perfumey to me. I definitely get the black raspberry and the cotton candy. I'm getting a little bit of smokiness, which I'm assuming is a smoked oud and patchouli. I'm not really getting spice from the spice cherry. I definitely get a sweetness from the cotton candy. The Probably the cherry and the cotton candy and black raspberry, honestly. I can't get this out, but look how beautiful this is. This is unique. I don't think I have any like sweet fruity scents that also have like a smoky depth to them. I'm trying to get this out to see if I could get the bottom. Okay. Okay, definitely the bottom is heavy on the cherry for me, but it's not a medicinal cherry. It definitely is more like juicy black cherry. If you're familiar with Bath and Body Works' is black cherry Merlot, that's exactly the kind of cherry I'm getting from this. Not really picking up spice. The bottom is more like smoky and cherry. And the top is more bright and fruity with a little bit of smokiness. This is unique. I am excited to warm this. I definitely feel like this is more of like a summer transitioning into fall because you have the fruity, but you also have the smoky elements in here. Super excited to warm this, Chris. Thank you so much for thinking of me and knowing that I would enjoy this. This is this I'm excited to warm this I have don't have anything like this in my collection so I'm definitely definitely got glitter on me if you hear Zola going in and out of the doggy door as she does in most of my videos <laughs> sorry for the distraction but this I can't wait to warm this if you have warm this let me know what you think of it on warm because I'm looking forward to seeing what notes really come out and blossom when this is warmed up but that is everything. Thank you so much again, Chris. It really touched me and made my day. And just to know that you thought of me to put things aside and send these to me as a surprise, it just means the world to me. Again, if you haven't checked out Chris, which I'm sure you have before you've even found or watched me, I will link her down below. Definitely show her some love. She is one of the best here on YouTube and I am just so grateful to be connected with her and be friends with her. And yeah, I am just so touched by this all. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Chris. And I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. And I'm sure I'll be chatting with you in the comments. Take care. Bye.